Inside each of us, right now, cancer-like cells are growing. Luckily, this isn't as bad as it sounds because most of us have healthy, active immune systems. When one of our cells becomes damaged or undergoes mutation, our immune cells seek it out killing or neutralizing it before it grows into clinical disease. We all have cancer-like cells, but only some of us have cancer. Unfortunately, this isn't a foolproof system. Tumor cells are clever. Over time, they can change their appearance, adopting disguises that allow them to evade immune control. Those of us who work in cancer immunotherapy, therefore, have two goals. First, to identify the mechanisms by which tumors escape the immune system. And second, to develop treatments that unmask cancer, reversing these negative effects. When I mention immune cells, I'm referring to a specific type called CD8 T cells, which are very well equipped to target and kill tumors, but generally do not target our healthy cells. If they do, they're prevented from killing. Molecules on the T cell surface seek out the signs of a healthy cell. And if they find them, like a light switch, the T cell is turned off. Tumor cells exploit this, uh, disguising themselves as healthy cells and switching off any killer T cells that come near. One of these switch-like molecules is called lag-3. As the T cell nears the tumor, something flips the lag-3 switch, making this cancer-killing cell inactive. Through binding studies, I have identified the culprit as a small protein called galactin-3. The tumor cells and their neighbors are able to release this tiny protein into the surrounding area, and when large amounts of it are present, they bind to each other and to the switch-like molecule lag-3. This type of binding is called cross-linking, and it is what allows the T cell to receive that deactivation signal. When we inject cancer cells into mice that cannot make galactin-3, their T cells work so well that most of those mice never grow a tumor. So we understand the mechanism. Now we need to learn how to reverse it. My studies now turn to testing potential treatments, substances that block galactin-3, that keep it from flipping the lag-3 switch, and that allow T cells to remain potent tumor killers. We believe that this approach could lead me to the day when I will be able to say to all of you, we all have cancer-like cells, but none of us have cancer. Thank you.